All right, I am here with uh, Mark Shin from Incentives West. This is our, our longest uh, Skype interview ever because uh, Mark is talking to us all the way from where, Mark? From Shanghai in China here. Yeah, that's why he looks like a little, when he talks, there's a little bit of a delay. You got that sort of, you know, oh, Japanese horror movie, oh, even though it's, uh, you know, China there. So, Mark, tell us um, what's happening over there at Shanghai. How's your trip going? Uh, the trip's been a wonderful trip, Jeff. Uh, my wife and I had an opportunity. She was over here for some schooling in Beijing. And so we added on a little bit of a holiday, and then we're both visiting some industry suppliers. We're helping to get these orders going for people, for our customers back home. So, All right, yeah, you got to make uh, sure that those orders are going out on time. You know, we don't want to have any, have any late orders now. Okay, here's a question that I think everybody really wants to know, okay? How's the Chinese food over there? <laughs> it, it's it's great stuff, Jeff. The diversity of what they have, you know, from all types of vegetables and seafood dishes, it's 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 nothing like I've ever had at home for darn sure. And I've been traveling over here for a few years. I mean, I started right out of college over twenty five years ago, traveling to Asia, and and this diversity that we've seen on this trip is just amazing. It's good stuff. All right, excellent. Now you know, in Vegas, when you go to the expo, there's a killer place, Rick Green. Uh, who you know there from Lee Wayne takes us over to Am Lee, and it's it's way off the beaten path. Ah. Uh, really killer Chinese food. Used to be this guy on Shins. This is where Jerry Lewis got his Chinese food. So we'll have to give you the inside tip on that. Maybe we'll take you out with us. Uh, we go on. I now. will need to do that. Thank you. All right, excellent. See ya. And I'll let Rick pick up the tab. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> all right, so China, you're having a great time there. Um, Anything specifically you want to share um, with with the audience? And, and by the way, because the connection's a little weak, we're going to come back and visit with Mark again on a on a uh, if I didn't say that on a clean line. But you know, we want to get you well, live you. there from China uh, while you're there. So anyway, what what impressions did you have? Well, the, the impressions I have of the of the people over here they they work so hard. They work on time schedules in many cases that are adjusting to our needs. I mean, I find just myself in order to get a conference call, it's a little bit over early over here. It's a little bit later in the day for you on the West Coast. But the people over here, they're working, you know, six days plus in many cases, and they're working at all times of, of the day in order to fully communicate the needs of the customers all, around the world. And it, it's pretty exciting stuff. The quality of the work is phenomenal that they're putting through. I know that there's been some issues on a national basis back in the States with regards to a, a, a certain f uh, food service company providing products in the marketplace, and uh, these people are on it. They have testing facilities inside of their factories. They are going through the ISO certifications, and they're learning about our expectations on our testing requirements back home as well, and it's great stuff. Right, and of course those glasses that McDonald's recalled were made in uh, America, by the way. So, uh, but you know, it sheds light on this whole issue that we had free promo tips are going to get into uh, in, in some detail. Now, all right, Mark is a, a, one of these guys active in the industry, known him for years. He's one of those good guy uh, sales reps that really works hard to, uh, you know, to help us as distributors. And so, Mark's got some passions for some stuff and. Since there's a big meeting coming up, Mark, what, what do you want to share about what's happening in, in the industry with regard to your other things you, you're, you're passionate about? There we go. Th thank you, Jeff. And, uh, Boy, you that know, was a long, drawn-out intro, wasn't it? Okay, go I ahead, that's No worries. But wherever we are around the world, uh, many of us you know, get, get, are involved in volunteer processes, volunteering for the industry. And there's a gathering next week in Grapevine, Texas, of all the regional association leaders the current leaders and the future leaders inside your own home regional associations. And uh, since I'm a, a longtime volunteer for uh, the industry association, our national as well as regional associations as a past president of RAC, I'll be there helping with uh, a lot of the different, different initiatives where a lot of the regionals are sharing their best success stories from region to region. And it's exciting every year to get together with some of the brightest minds and the hardest working volunteers we've got across the country. So. Right, and as you can hear, the phone keeps ringing. It's probably people want to come over and watch the Laker game. Uh, it's going to start in a little <laughs> while. But, uh, you know, I got Mark from China, you know, from Shanghai, so uh, that is taking a precedent. But, uh, you know, uh, being a volunteer is so great, and this is how I've met you and 
and many other great people. And, yes. and I, you know, really seriously want to encourage people, you know, to get involved. You can make a difference. It's going to help you personally and professionally. You're going to build connections with people, suppliers and distributors uh, who can help you. You know, you got that rush order. You, you've got somebody that you can talk to. Uh, you know, what can you say? It's important to get involved. Jeff, and, and you touched right on it. You're, you're going to help grow yourself as an individual. You're going to help grow your business and the ability for you to make connections across the country in all different platforms of our industry. And it's going to help you. So you touched on it. It's uh, the people you meet are going to be lifelong friends and they're everybody's here to help each other. And, and, and it really it, it's a great feeling when you're when you're out there volunteering. So everybody should do it. <laughs> all right. Absolutely. Well, Mark. Um, we're going to have you come back and we're going to touch on, you know, some other deeper industry issues uh, when we've got a really good, clean landline. And actually, this hasn't been too bad. It's great. I see the big world map behind you and all those time zones that uh, you're yeah, working yeah. with over there. And uh, um, so really, it's been great. Thank you for taking the time to share with us on your vacation. Jeff, thanks for all you do. Take care. All right. Thanks, Mark.